So, something else I was thinking about. Where are you from, really? Oh, your parents are Kurds. Kurdland. <laughs> I live in a very diverse neighborhood myself. There's an interesting mix of people there. One of my neighbors, for example, from Pakistan. But really lovely, super nice, really. And there's the starting shot for the topic of conversation I've been forced into a thousand times and still can't avoid. As Dad likes to say, when people want to talk origins, they're like volcanoes, impossible to stop. Alas, Kurdistan, it must have been hard for you to grow up completely torn between two cultures. Oh, poor thing. And I said to my neighbor, you can eat your food, and I'm fine with your obligatory five hours of daily prayer. But please, oh please, don't make your daughter wear a veil when she grows up. Please, for me, let her be free. I really said it. You're like a poor little suspension bridge dangling between two cultural mountain walls. Ugh. Female circumcision. Ugh. That's where I draw the line. I can't support that. You're hanging, dangling, like a poor little icy bridge that's freezing and shivering out in the cold. Neither one thing or the other. <laughs> it's too tragic. Ten minutes later, they're deep into a debate about honor killings. Someone says, oppression of women, and someone says, prayer rugs, and someone says, suicide bombers. Everything is connected. I do what I've always done, try to kill them with silence. But this time, it doesn't seem to be working. What's your opinion of Muslim cultural traditions? Hey, what's your relationship like with your father? I mean, what would he say if he saw you right here, right now, with us, with that beard? Cheers, maybe, I say, and try and change the subject, but it's impossible. Do you feel threatened from home because you choose to live in such a Western way? Come here, to my arms, <sighs> cry on my shoulder. <laughs> I can completely understand that it must be incredibly difficult to find your way as a woman in such a traditional climate. At that point, I've had enough. I refuse to give up this time. I gather myself and start to talk about counter-movements, secular Muslim cultures, intellectual, postmodern, radical feminists in veils. And then I play my trump card. And you've all heard of, um, of, uh, I'm trying, of course, to tell them about my new idol, the Muslim director Awatif, who was a global success with her productions of Endgame and Hamlet Machine, the woman who inspired me to study theater. But suddenly I have a blackout, her name is gone, and instead I hear myself say, and you've all heard of Abul Qasim, haven't you? 